My name is Kyle Blake. I'm a captain with Central Madison Fire Department in Wasilla, Alaska. We just recently uh, finished a final inspection on this uh, 2023 Spartan Gladiator heavy rescue build out done by SVI. It's replacing an aging fleet of technical rescues that we have. The main goal for the build out on this was to be able to serve a lot of different types of missions. Our service area is 150 square miles. It goes from the ocean all the way to the mountains. So we have all the hazards, target hazards, swift water rescue, mud rescue, uh, over embankment rescues that all need to be packaged into this one heavy rescue. So we built it out with a lot of different storage options and a lot of neat features that uh, we think are gonna be really beneficial to our department. So each one of these compartments have these nice drop downs. These have a 600 pound load rating. We thought this would be really good so we can step up and grab stuff without having to drop the shelves all the way down. But 150 pound weight capacity on each one of these trays. And we have room for fans and other cribbing bundles right here. Uh, command light controllers on this side as well. We really, really like these drop downs that SBI made for us. This OSS hardware, this is a thousand pound capacity. Our plans for these two big slide outs is to have two Paratech highway kits. Up top, we have storage for litter, CMC Vortex, and spy loads. Two, we have two toolboxes, and then nice latches have all kinds of extra tool storage. This lower section, we have uh, enough space in here, stack of four by eight plywood. We have our cord reel, 200 foot, and we have a uh, section here for airbag system. Storage in these compartments for our SCBA bottles. It's mirrored on the other side, so we have the capacity for eight different SCBA bottles. Along the frame of the truck, we've had access points and receivers put on. So we have a removable winch off the front of the truck that we can move to either side of the truck. Over here, we have connection points for gym pole and a vortex for rope rescue. This compartment is more tool storage. This one's a drop down, 150 pound capacity. This one's a little bit bigger than the ones on the other side. And then we have this large tray, has a thousand pound capacity. On scene solutions, did all of this slide out hardware, super heavy duty. We're really, really happy with it. We think it's gonna last us a long time. This compartment, we have two vertical slide out trays that were spec'd out for a full complement of AMKIS rescue tools. Two different spots here for our combi and spreaders and cutters over here and then two trays for our ram sets additional tool board over here for different hand tools for vehicle extrication different shelves for battery chargers and uh, cribbing bundle so the rear of the truck this is a little bit different for us we're not used to having a walk up but we have lots of deep well storage up here we have two small compartments down here for Red flares and triangles. Three anchor points off the back here. This middle one's for our winch receiver. Has the plug-in right there. Fold down step. Coming midway up the stairs here, we have our ladder compartment. We have a 24-foot two-fly ladder, 14-foot roof ladder, and a 10-foot attic ladder that we can store in there, along with a one slot for a pipe bolt. So up on the top side here, we have two more high-point anchor systems. We have these nice, deep, Little length coffin boxes that we plan to use for a lot of different type of equipment, like a inflatable boat, motors, things of that nature. We went with the uh, command light for scene lighting. In Alaska, it's uh, dark half the year, so we, re we really like lots and lots of scene lighting. We have several trucks with these on them. They work really, really well for us. Additional storage here with uh, power run to it for charging. More deep well storage. We built this truck out to last us a long time. So while we might not have plans for every single one of these compartments, we have the ability to expand. We have this labeled as our saw compartment. We have a fold out tray, 150 pound capacity up here for chaps and other saw equipment. We have this large full length slide out that has a spot for six different saws and additional fuel storage. This has a thousand pound capacity. So we were able to build this out and add new equipment as we upgrade or change its purpose. Two 400 pound slide outs here. Really, really nice hardware on these. Over this compartment, we have two tip outs. 150 pound capacity for these. Uh, 
and another thousand pound half length slide out. Side mirrors the other side, we, so we have the ability for our four by eight sheets. We can grab them from either side, which is really nice. Another 150 pound half length slide out. What's really nice about these boards for our Paratech Highway kits is they can go full length slide out on either side. Really, really nice because we don't always have the luxury of being able to work off whatever side of the truck that we want. So having that option to be able to access it from both sides is really, really nice. This compartment has four 200 pound vertical twin boards. These are really nice, really quality sliders on here. Really solid construction. We have the ability to add all kinds of different hand tools. Bottom floor here is for gripping bundles for shoring and uh, vehicle stabilization that will add to that as well. So this truck we had built out because we have water rescue equipment, high angle rip rescue equipment, and we need space to be able to dress out. So we built this out instead of having four seats across the middle, we decided to do the add-on and have the rear seating position built into the back of the cab of the truck. This is super nice in here, lots of space for uh, there are people that get dressed out in either Gumby suits, water rescue, rope harnesses. Uh, it's really, really, really a nice quality. Got plenty of storage, plenty of storage in the back. That's kind of the name of the game is being able to have as much equipment as we possibly can. Generally, our firefighters and rescuers, we carry two different sets of gear. We have technical rescue gear and then we have our stretcher gear. So if we're in this truck, we're bringing both sets of gear. So we need lots of storage and lots of room tons of room in here this is i'm more than happy with this this is great overhead storage more options for us we have these nice roll-up doors that can be accessed in the cab or from the exterior as well up on the front bumper here we have two more anchor points that we're able to utilize and in this front bumper here we had the sbi designed for us this nice drop down and our winch storage this winch is, has a mounting point back here but we're able to remove it and be able to go all the way around the truck with it and have uh, connection points for it on each side of the truck, which is super nice. We're really happy that we worked with SBI to get us to have this ability. It's a little unconventional to have a winch that's removable and move around the truck, but we're really happy that they came through with us for it. We're really excited to get this truck into service and serve our community. We just wanna thank SBI for their professional attitude and their ability to get this truck done. They did everything we asked them to do. 